All right, so here is a video about Pisces, my take. Of all the signs, like, that I feel the most disconnected to, um, it would have to be the Pisces. And my father is a Pisces, so that could attribute to that. But um, let's talk about Pisces from my perspective, from a Leo perspective. All right. So it's a water sign. It is ruled by Neptune. You're diving deep into the subconscious. Pisces is the most psychic sign. Y'all been here the most. You know, you know what's up. You done been around the block. You guys tend to cling to um, a religion or some type of spirituality or it's been something that um, has caused you pain. Um, you guys cling to something spiritual because you just know, you know that the, you know that something else exists or you're battling with, with, with that aspect. Um, okay. So this is a little skewed because I'm a fire sign. Pisces feel so freaking much they feel and feel and feel and you can play that violin to how much they feel like and nobody understands how much they feel they feel the depths of their emotions and the situations and everyone around them just doesn't get it and it and it's just like I guess to some degree I can understand that but it causes them to be druggies and addicted to tons of things to feel better. So it'd be alcoholics, smoking weed all the damn time. I mean, look at Rihanna. <laughs> um, they just, they will indulge in addictive behavior. Getting a Pisces man to commit, I don't know how you do that shit. If you have, a, if, first of all, Getting a Pisces man in a relationship, period. How, I don't know how you did it. Then, getting a man, a Pisces man in a relationship and getting him to commit, I don't know how you did it. <laughs> because there's an inner knowing in them of, like, free-flowing and the limitlessness of love and feeling so much. And so it's just like, I don't think they're meant to really commit. And um, I think a part of me feels like, um, my well, person that I could marry or be with could possibly be a Pisces um, or have Piscean energy because of that. Um, I don't know if I'm as non-committal as a Pisces, but it's pretty close. But anyway, um, what else about a Pisces? All right, so they've been around the block. They feel a lot. And there's a Jesus-Judas complex with the Pisces. And they can be so sweet and so nice, but, but creating the most cruel shit underneath it. And you won't even know, just like Judas who kissed Jesus, they know how to work people. They know how to manipulate energy. They know how to get everyone to think that they are amazing. And not only that, they're loyal. They're loyal and they like being loyal. So they do everyone all these favors and they dish out all these things. Meanwhile, they got all this shit that they talk, they're talking about you in their mind. But they know how to they know how to act. They know how to operate. Even a Pisces who doesn't care about spirituality and the new age and stuff, like I know a Pisces who wasn't into the stuff that I was into. But I could watch him picking up on all the subconscious stuff in the room. And even me, like, I pick up so much stuff being empathic and so half the time I just don't even want to deal with people and I would just be quiet a lot of the time. He was picking up on everything I was picking up everything I was watching him it's like everyone else just like tossed me off as just being quiet 
he was picking up on all the intricacies of what was going on with me. And there was no words. So they may not care about the new age and astrology and rules and limits because they because there's something deep within them that understands limitlessness and how we're free spirits but they're psychic as hell um so but the thing is because they're they're so psychic and they know they know how to manipulate a room and they know how to get people to feel sorry for them they know how to look like the upstanding person but with that being said, if you get the the um, Pisces with the G- Jesus complex, who's walking in their truth and um, loyal from a place of self worth, and not from a place of obligation and or manipulation, um, then you got you got Jesus, you got you got a bona fide Jesus. I feel like with the Pisces, you can get. An amazing experience or a real sinister experience. You got the the fish going both ways. Um, Pisces women are really fucking funny. I didn't really know because I didn't I didn't hadn't connect with Pisces as much. When I got around Pisces women, they were just making me laugh a lot. And I was like, oh, shoot, they're really funny. And I guess a Pisces man can be funny, too. And, the, oh, yeah, the thing about Pisces man humor that I noticed, it's very, very lighthearted. There's, like, there's nothing, not every Pisces man, but um, it's not too complicated. It's very just free. Um, I've heard that sex with a Pisces is very intense because they feel so much and it's like overwhelming. Um, what else about fishies? I love listening to what they say because it, even from whatever consciousness level they're speaking whether it's a low vibrational one high vibrational spiritual whatever they are dropping some knowledge even if they don't even realize it when a pisces speaks about what they feel and what they know i listen like my grandmother is a pisces and um she's devoutly christian she clinging to Jesus for dear life. She ain't going to be open to any other religion. So um, I hear her talk in terms of Christianity, but I kind of like um, translate it to what I know to be a spirituality and our limitlessness and the new age and, um, you know, the fact that death isn't real and all the other stuff um if you translate it it still fits even if she's speaking in terms about satan or speaking in terms about jesus like if you really listen it still fits to the to the tr- to my truth of what's actually happening so I feel like Pisces are so wise and sometimes, and the thing is they know so much and they feel so much and they've been through so much that they're, they're kind of above it in a lot of ways. And they know they're above it. They know they're above a lot of the bullshit that these other signs do. And that's what makes them so smart and manipulating a room. They can use it for good or they can use it for bad. But some Pisces get tired of dealing with basic bitches <laughs> that they resort to just um charming and um they kind of give up in a way like let me have how can I explain they they either really angry or they give in to putting up face 
for these basic ass people. <laughs> um, I'd like to connect more with Pisces, but I have to be careful because they're good. Like I'm pretty good too, so it's like it's like dealing with someone at my caliber. Even not to say that oh my caliber is so high. I'm not not trying to put it like that. I'm just saying like even a Pisces who's not um, consciously aware of the new age and the shift in the age of Aquarius, they're still on some higher level shit. So when I'm working with the Pisces, I'm always listening. And, um, yeah, they can be really fun loving. They get something about life that a lot of people don't. They tend to get really hard blueprints. They deal with a lot of crap. They come in with really, really hard blueprints because they come with a lot of knowledge. It's easy for them not to care about what people think. It's easy for them to detach and disassociate and go somewhere else because they're above it. They're tired of the third dimensional duality bullshit crap. So they float off into to fairyland and escape because it's so exhausting explaining themselves or explaining their feelings or showing what they see and dealing with people's ignorance which is why they can play the victim card and don't feel justified or um, like they don't feel like people understand or giving them what they deserve because they feel the hurt of what people do to them more than what other people can. So they can build up a resentment and space the fuck out. Um, which can cause them to psychically get back at people. And that, that creates karma, though. It's tough, I know, because when you're spiritual and you feel things and you know things and you're empathic and people are disregarding that aspect of life, even if you're not a spiritual Pisces, you're still psychic. And you, it's, it's frustrating because you want support in it, but sometimes you got to stand alone. Um, yeah, they can handle a lot of stuff. Like, I'm just bringing up Rihanna again. Not everybody can handle what she went through. Not everyone can handle going through that kind of abuse, that kind of relationship. She understands the higher aspect of it and how we're all victims of victims. But she has to deal with the ignorance of people like um, blaming her or getting on him, um, Chris Brown and it's like they just they see the higher road so much more easier and they have to walk that road in the midst of other people's ignorance people who don't understand transparency but anyway I'm done talking about Pisces that's, that's a lot of information for someone who's not as close to Pisces um, but anyway uh, that's it I hope you enjoyed it